Here's a report on the Owens River and Hot Creek from Fred Rowe at Sierra Bright Dot. Hello, I'm Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching, guiding, writing, and lecturing on the Eastern Sierras since 1982. Let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Well, spring is here, and of course with spring, we got wind. Ten feet of it from this storm. Well, little storms are coming through, typical spring. Not getting much precipitation, but we're definitely getting the wind. So on the days that the storms aren't coming through, fishing's been great. Days that the storms are here, yep, we're getting lots of wind. Well, let's move to Hot Creek. Snow's pretty much gone, you can drive in, access is fine, fishing is good. We're using midges in the morning, then the blue wing olives are hatching midday, and some days there's a few caddis showing up in the late afternoon. For flies in the morning, I'm fishing with nymphs, and I'm using both pupa and nymph patterns of the midges, primarily using zebra and tiger midge patterns. An hour or two before the hatch, it's a great time to switch to beadhead flashback pheasant tails, and those are working great. And then once the hatch is going, the fish are feeding on the surface. I switch to dry flies, bluing olive parachutes, and sparkle duns in olive. Okay, let's head over to the Owens River above Benton Crossing. Roads there are pretty much open, pretty much dried out. Still be careful, there's a few wet spots here and there. You can get stuck. Be a little careful where you're driving. Okay, let's get to the fishing. Well, the run is still there. We're still doing good, but it's gonna end any day now. So we're still seeing trophy rainbows in the river. We've seen a few trophy cutthroat trout, but they're really not in yet. They usually don't show up till early to mid-May. Fishing, well, same story all winter. Fishing, the cut banks, the deep holes, and the deep runs is where the fish are resting and feeding, and we're fishing bigger flies, size 12 in there. I'm using green and gold prince nymphs, stoner nymphs, and gold rip hare's ears. And those fit flies fished on the bottom where the fish are resting is go what's going to produce your fish. You just have to cover the water and find where the fish are. Some days we cover a lot of water, some days we just hit a pool or two and find plenty of fish to feed. All right, let's head down the river road to the Owens Valley. Owens River, lower Owens section from Pleasant Valley Dam to Five Bridges, while Trout section is where I'm doing all my winter fishing. And it's been great all winter and continues to be great. Midges in the morning, followed by blue wing olives. And if you're in the lower third of the section, you're gonna run into a great caddis hatch. Well, same patterns in there. Starting off in the morning, fishing with midges, then switch to a beat at flashback pheasant tail or an olive coldagon in sizes 16 or 18. Then for the dry flies, we're fishing blue wing olive parachutes. And then we're also fishing with um, sparkle duns. Then, in the late afternoon, if you're in that section, we're fishing with caddis patterns in gray in size 18. All right, Bishop Creek Canal. It is my favorite water, but I'm not fishing much right now because it is at its absolute lowest. Clear water, fish are super spooky. What I'm primarily doing in there is fishing with dry flies. And a little hack, I use a size 16 Adams parachute and put the size 18 or 20 dry flies behind it so they're easier to see the little fly because I can find the big fly. And that's this week's fly fishing report brought to you by Sierra Bright Dot, which can be found on the webpage at sierrabrightdot.com. Appreciate the report on the Owens River and Hot Creek from Fred Rowe. He's with Sierra Bright Dot. He guides up in the Eastern Sierra and if you want to be put in contact with him, just let us know and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.